Aloha from the Ozarks. Folks, if you are looking for a little portable building for some storage room, I've got this nice little 8x12 right here behind me that I want to show you. I'm going to turn the camera around and let you look at this pretty little building instead of my ugly Hawaiian face. Just a second. Here we go. That is an 8x12. It has been upgraded with our PPG uh, black paint. I think we call it ebony. Uh, and with white trim. Uh, it's got a black metal roof. Metal roof will come with a 25 year warranty. Your PPG paints come with a 10 year adhesion warranty and a 25 year warranty. Standard on a building that's 8 feet wide is a single barn door that's 48 inches wide. Single barn door. Okay. Now uh, this is, I, I can't remember if I told you, this is an 8 by 12 utility shed by Graceland. Let's take a look inside. First thing I hope you notice is plywood everywhere. Plywood in the walls, plywood in the floors. Most of my competitors do not use plywood in their walls and floors. We do. 5 8 inch plywood in both the walls and the floors. All of the lumber that you're looking at is treated, pressure treated lumber, and all of it comes with a lifetime warranty, limited lifetime warranty. All right, I mentioned the 25 year warranty on the metal roof up above, and so in a limited lifetime warranty on the treated wood products, seven year warranty on our workmanship. Most of my competitors only go five years on their workmanship warranty. Most of them do not offer a lifetime warranty on their treated wood products because, well, they don't buy uh, plywood for the walls and floors. And then we do buy and use the premium grade of lumber for our 2x4 wall studs and our 2x6 floor joists. We buy a higher grade of lumber to pass on the higher quality to you, our customers. All right, in the walls, I want you to notice, two by fours are 16 inches apart and we double them up every four feet. More two by fours in a wall means a stronger wall. Many of my competitors space them further apart so they use less two by fours, which means their walls are not as strong and sturdy as ours. Okay, in a non-lofted building like this, you're gonna have, a, well, standard on all of our walls, you're gonna have a single two by four at the bottom and double two by fours at the top. Compare that with many of my competition some of them only use a single 2x4 at the top. We use double. Uh, the walls in a non-lofted building are going to be about 94 inches tall. And what I want you to notice at the top of the wall, metal hurricane clips are what we use to fasten our roof trusses to the top of the wall. That's like you would build in your own home. You would use metal hurricane clips. Our buildings are rated for 150 mile an hour wind gusts. And part of the uh, uh, reason why we can rate them for that high is we use metal hurricane clips. My other competitors out there, some of them do use those, but some do not. If a big gust of wind comes along, you don't have metal hurricane clips holding that roof truss on there, it could get blown off, okay? So it's just something for you to keep in mind. Um, our floors are 5 8 inch plywood floors, and they're fitted together, interlocked, using tongue and grooves. So it's really one giant seamless gapless floor, which means it's bug proof. Bugs underneath can't get up through the seams because the seams are interlocked, so there really is no seam, okay? It's gapless. All right, uh, underneath that 5 8 inch plywood floor, and by the way, many of my competitors use a composite floor, not a plywood floor, which means they don't handle water nearly as well as a plywood floor does. And they use OSB in the walls, not plywood, okay? Um, underneath that plywood floor, we use two by six floor joists. Many of my competitors only use two by fours. We use two by six, it's a bigger, stronger floor joist, which gives our subfloor a bigger, stronger, st sturdier subfloor. It's the kind of floor, if you were gonna build your own flooring, you'd put two by sixes in for your floor joists. We space them in, um, 16 inches apart, just like we space our wall studs 16 inches apart. Okay, pay attention to the roof truss. It's a big triangle that spans the entire width of the building. Uh, some of my competitors use smaller triangles that don't span the entire width of the building. They make a smaller triangle and then they just extend, extend this cross member, the bottom, the base of the triangle all the way across. But ours, the whole entire triangle takes up the entire uh, size of the building. Now, our roofs, we use 7 16th OSB roof decking across the entire roof. That's like if you were building your own roof, that's how you would do it with OSB roof decking. And then we put the metal roof on top of that on the outside and we place a moisture barrier in between the metal roof and the roof decking. That's just like you would build in your own home. Many of my competitors, when they build a roof, they don't use OSB roof decking. They use one inch wide wood slats and then they space them apart. So their building, their roof structure is not nearly as strong as ours. So something to keep in mind, okay? And our roof trusses are built using two by fours. 
Uh, so if you're shopping around, compare the roof. How are their roofs built compared to ours, all right? Every single Graceland building has this patented exclusive thing that I'm going to show you by closing the door, letting some of that light go away, and I'm reaching my camera up above the wall where you can see light peeking in because that is an aluminum soft ventilation system that runs the entire sidewall on both sides of this building, and it's for improved airflow. It's a Graceland exclusive because you have a patent on that. It improves the airflow, okay? In addition, at the roof peak, we have a screened-in roof ridge vent, and it's screened in to keep out bugs and debris, but it also improves the airflow. Combine the roof vent up above with the soffit vents on the sides, the building stays 10 to 15 degrees cooler in the hot and humid summer times, and that makes a big difference here in the Ozarks. Okay, so some great things, great quality features about every standard Graceland building right here that I pointed out to you. Uh, if you are interested in this building, all you have to do is message me right here on Facebook. We can do the entire deal online if you'd like. You don't have to drive to my lot. Uh, it, we have rent to own. It's no credit check on the rent to own if you want to do that, or you can pay the cash price. I will list a link in this video description to my current inventory where I will put this building. And in that listing, you will see the cash price for this building as well as the monthly rent to own price. Also in the video description to, to this video, I will put a link to my frequently asked questions page where uh, I probably have a question that you were thinking of already listed there with the answer. Of course, if you have a question you just want to ask me directly, message me right here on Facebook, okay? But questions like, uh, how does rent to own work? Well, it's no. Uh, it's really simple. It's no credit check. There's no penalty to pay it off early. We collect one or two payments up front. It kind of depends on which way you want to go. And I explain that in my frequently asked questions page about rent to own. Free delivery and setup is within 50 miles of my lot. And free delivery and setup is on top of your, uh, you provide the concrete cap blocks or concrete cinder blocks. We set the building on top of those, level the building, and then we anchor it down like a mobile home would be anchored down at the four corners of the building. We use 18-inch anchors. That's part of the reason why we're able to give you 150 mile an hour wind gust certifications. Okay, if you are, have any questions about this particular building or getting one custom built or you want to buy this one, all you got to do is message me right here on Facebook. I want to encourage you once again, look at this video description because I have links to my current inventory and my frequently asked questions page. Okay, if you, you got questions, hit me up. Aloha from the Ozarks.